Do you ever find yourself wondering how spiritually successful people reach that level of success? Hello, I'm Clarence, I'm the preacher, and I'm going to share part of that recipe with you starting right now. One of the ingredients that you must have to be spiritually successful is raw determination. I'm talking about relentless, I will not give up, I will not quit determination. I'm talking about that idea where you set your eyes on the goal and you say, I am going to be a spiritual success. Nobody's going to stop me. I may bumble my way to the top. I may stumble my way to the top, but I am getting to the top if I have to crawl to the top. That's the kind of determination that leads to that spiritual success that we all admire. It's just that raw determination. So when Christ said, take up your cross and follow me, those people that are successful said, all right, I may stumble under the weight of my cross now and then, just like Jesus did, but that's okay. I'm going forward. I will get forward. I will not quit. I don't expect to bat a thousand. Show me my cross. Where is it? Let me get on with it. I can carry this thing. And it's that enthusiasm, that determination. It's not just hope. It's not just, oh, I wish I could be a good Christian. Sure, a lot of folks wish they could be a good Christian and never get off the pew and get started. Those that are really good Christians that we look up to and admire literally actually picked up their cross and carried it day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. They said, I'm not quitting till I cross the finish line. And they kept looking beyond. They didn't just look to next week or next year. They weren't looking for the applause of men. They were looking beyond for that victory in heaven. And that's what carries them forward. That's what still presses them forward. Those that are still on this side of the tombstone, they see victory over there and they say, I'm going to put my foot on that golden street. I'm going to walk through that pearly gate. I'm going to hear him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. That's the energy that, that just keeps moving them forward. And they will not let go of that dedication and that determination. They just keep pressing on. Now, are there challenges in their life? Absolutely. 1 Peter 5, 8. Their adversary, the devil, roams about just like your adversary, the devil, roams about. And they look at that obstacle and they go, look, he's already defeated. All I've got to do is go past him. I draw near to God, Satan will flee from me. So they're not really over worried about the challenge. Oh yeah, there's some tough places. Don't get me wrong. It's a straight and narrow way for all of us. We all enter the kingdom through many tribulations, but that determination says, no, I'm not giving in to the devil. I'm not settling down to be lukewarm just so God will spew me out because God doesn't accept the lukewarm. I'm going forward. And if the devil doesn't like it, well, he can take that up with the Lord, but me, I'm going to heaven. And so it's that determination that here's Matthew 6, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And yeah, that's the secret ingredient. No one has a level of spiritual success. No one becomes a great Christian without that determination and that priority that seeks first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So sure, it's tough. Sure, they stumble and bumble on the way, but they know Revelation 2.10 where it says, be thou faithful unto death. And they go, I'm going to die anyway, right? Might as well die and get a reward for it in heaven other than die in the camp of the enemy and get, well, not a reward on the other side. Put your comments below, share your thoughts, share this video if you think it would help somebody else. And as always, I hope you have a great day.